Welcome to Malwix.com tutorial videos. In this video, I will share with you how to install and set up web hosting control panel to your server with cPanel. Here are the pointers we will go through in this video. 1. Log into new server via Bitvice SSH client. 2. Installing free trial cPanel slash WHM control panel. 3. Set up hostname and DNS. 4. Set up private name servers and DNS. 5. Set up hostname SSL. 6. Check security advisor and address conflicts. 7. Activate internal plugins, Clam AV email antivirus. 8. Set up XM config. 9. Set up Apache config. 10. Install slash set up third-party plugins, Fleet SSL, Softaculous, Jet Backup, SitePad, Cloud Linux, Immunify 360, CSF. 11. Set up SSHD config changes for additional server protection. 12. Turn off automatic updates for cPanel WHM. If this sounds good to you, so let's get started. To start with, let's download Bitvice SSH client and make sure to make your Contabo account information handy. Please choose the button Download Bitvice SSH Client, and also if you're asked what operating system or OS, then use obviously your computer's OS. In my case, I am using Windows. Bitvice website can automatically detect your OS computer but in case they ask, as mentioned, choose the right OS or operating system of your computer. Save and install to your computer. Installing an application to your computer should be self-explanatory but in case you are not familiar with it, please Google or check on their documentation how to set it up in your computer. Here's the Bitvice documentation link https colon slash slash www.bitvice.com slash getting dash started dash install dash ssh dash client which I will also provide in the description of this video. Once installed, open it up and provide the information that Contabo has provided to you or any VPS provider which are the following. We will need the IP address for the server, the password and username. So in my case, here are mine as an example. First, add your IP. Next, please follow through. The username is always root for Linux distribution. And you have to enable the password encryption before you can add the password. Port is default as 22. Once done, save the profile on Bitvice SSH client to make sure you can open it easily later on. Once saved, you may log into your server now via SSH then open terminal. Every first time I log into a server, I always change the password. To do that, run this code, password. To paste a text in Bitvice SSH client, just right click. It will paste anything that is saved in the clipboard. Now, add your password and confirm then press enter key when done. It should show successful once you have input same the new password right. Now, please save that new password handy for you to later. And from here, 
let's first prepare our server to install and manage it for any basic configuration. In our case, since a new server, I always want to install these applications. Nano Screen We need Nano as a text editor and screen application so we can launch multiple SSH environment and run multiple session at a time if possible and most importantly is that we can keep the process active even when closing our SSH client or in case we lost an internet connection. This is ideal because usually if we get disconnected from the internet, it may crash our server due to the interrupted session. Please run this command or code into SSH client. Yum, why install nano screen? This will install nano and screen applications for your Linux VPS or CentOS 7 OS. Back to the installation, just run the code and it should show an installation success. If it doesn't please submit an issue via our community https colon slash slash community .com and for any question about this video. I will not run this code in my server as I already did earlier. My nano and screen apps should be ready by this time, so now we can start installing cPanel web hosting control panel. To get started, please navigate to their free trial link https colon slash slash cpanel.net slash product slash trial. Just add your information to get a trial version for your server and we will just upgrade later on. You'll be receiving an email from cPanel with instructions on how to install your free trial license. Here's the installation guide that we need. When you signed up for trial license, it is activated via IP address. You just have to install via the code provided and it should be ready to go. So now, copy the code and run into your server via SSH. But let me first clear my screen with clear command. Now, right click if using Bitvice then press enter key to confirm. If the installation failed, Probably we forget to prepare a few prerequisites within our server config so let's do this. Run the following commands, one at a time, per line. Or maybe let's do this step by step. First, let's again navigate to our server's home via SSH by running this command. CD. And clear the screen to have a clean slate. Clear. Now, update OS. Yum, why update? Then, install Perl. Yum, why install Perl? Then, disable Network Manager. Service Network Manager stop. Chconfig Network Manager off. And let's install cPanel again via the code provided on their website documentation cd slash home end and curl o latest l h t t p s colon slash slash s e c u re downloads dot c panel dot net slash latest and and s h latest the installation might take some time so let's get into it later the soonest once finished let's check if the installation had no errors I see, it stated, congratulations. 
Your installation of cPanel and WHM 11.102 is now complete. The next step is to configure your server. Before you configure your server, ensure that your firewall allows access on port 2087. 2087 is the port we will use for cPanel servers to log in. If you use Contabo server, it should already be opened. If you use cloud servers like Google Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, AWS, Oracle or other premium ones like it, you can open it through their security configuration. If you are not familiar with it, just ask support. I will create a video also with other providers soon so stay tuned and subscribe to our videos. After ensuring that your firewall allows access on port 2087, we can now configure our server. Let's now open a new tab on our browser and pass this given URL or generate new URL by running WHMlogin. When you navigate to the URL, it will automatically log you into cPanel Administration Web Panel and you might encounter this error in the browser. Your connection is not private. This is because our SSL is not ready so the browser should show an error but just follow through to pass through it. Click Advanced and Proceed. When redirected to the login page, add your root credentials. If you are new to cPanel.net store, you should create a new account so press that link here. Create an account or just sign up with your complete information with your email and verify the account. In my case, I already have an account so I'll just log into this stage. In email address, add your personal email to receive updates from your server. It's an update about status or warnings or worse to notify you via email. I suggest not to use Gmail or Outlook for this email to avoid abuse for those providers because your server might send a lot of emails and Gmail or Outlook might suspiciously detect it as spam and your server will be tagged as spam in that case so I suggest to either create a protonmail.com account or anything else or maybe just leave this empty if possible or add a fake email. For the name servers section, add your preferred name servers. Just follow this format based on the hostname. Hostname, cloud.yourdomain.com. Name servers 1, cloud.ns1.yourdomain.com. Name servers 2, cloud.ns2.yourdomain.com. I will discuss hostname later, but what is name servers? Name servers convert domain names into server IP addresses so that visitors can access your websites. Your server requires name servers so website domains can connect through it. More detailed videos will be uploaded on our channel about these but for now just please follow the format and follow through the video to set up your server right. Since my server hostname is cloud.webhox.top, 
I use name servers cloud.ns1.webhox.top and cloud.ns2.webhox.top. Once done filling up, please click next to proceed, and you should be redirected to the dashboard of your panel WHM account. In the next video, we will set up the other steps as mentioned in our notepad of instructions, so stay tuned to our next upload or if we already have, you will find the next video link provided in the description. Until next time, take care.